Hey guys, Don Grayson with Kentucky Well Institute, Second Shift Lead Instructor. Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to do a uh, stainless uh, 309 takeout monster. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we got her tacked up in the 6G position. Uh, remember, on a 6G test you allow plus or minus 5 degrees, so you can either have it at a 50 degree angle or you can have it at a 40 degree angle. Um, so on this one we got her tacked up, uh, we got our purge hose in. So what that purge hose is doing uh, is blowing argon inside this pipe. Uh, when you're welding stainless, you can't have any oxygen inside there or otherwise it'll cause it a sugar. Uh, sugar is like little black crystals that's going to be on your root. That'll make you fail a weld test. Um, so it's very important on the bottom here that you don't have any holes. That's where the argon cannot come out the bottom. Uh, it's actually going to start at the bottom and fill its way up to the top, pushing out all the oxygen through this little weep hole at the top. Um, it's very important to have that weep hole because when you're running your root, when you get ready to start closing it up, that oxygen, or the, I'm sorry, that argon, is going to start uh, pressurizing. And if you don't have that weep hole, it can actually blow out the top of your root, causing you not to tie into the, your top tack, uh, lack of fusion, incomplete uh, penetration. So, all right, guys, so there's four hole points. Uh, your first hole point is going to be your fit up and tack, and your second hole point is going to be your root. Your third hole point is going to be your uh, fill or your flush pass, and then your uh, fourth hole point is going to be your cap. Remember, it's very important not to break this thing down at any, at any single given point unless the QC gives you authorization to do so. Uh, so, we're at our second hole point. That's going to be your root. Remember, your first hole point was fit it up and tack it up in position. Your second hole point is your root. So, that's where we're at now. Um, I got my machine set at 95 amps, kind of like what I like to put my root in at. Uh, so, I'm going to start out with my weak hand first with my left hand. I'm going to weld this left handed and then I'm going to weld the other side right handed. Uh, so, here at KWI, it is very important that you weld the left hand side of the pipe with your left hand and the right hand side of your pipe with your right hand. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this root in. All right, guys. So after we got we got a root put in, now we're gonna go into our hot pass. All right, it's very important that you leave that purge in while you're doing your hot pass, or otherwise uh, it can steal sugar. So make sure you leave that uh, the purge in. All right, I got my machine set at 150 amps. That's what I like to hot pass at. Again, I'm gonna start with my left hand, and then I'm gonna finish it with my right hand. All right guys, so now that we got the hot pass in, now we're gonna start filling it up. Uh, I'm gonna run one bead as much as I can, or as far as out as I can, and then I'm gonna switch over to two, and then probably go to three. Uh, again, I got my heat set at 180, that's what I like to fill out. I'm gonna start with my left hand, and then I'm gonna switch over to my right to finish out that pass. All right guys, so we ran three single beads all the way out. Uh, now I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna start running a two bead fill. It's getting a little too wide to run one, so I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna start running two now.
All right, guys, so we've ran two beads out as far as that we could possibly run them. Uh, so it's getting a little wild. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to three. So I'm going to start at the bottom, then I'm going to put one in the middle, and then I'm going to put one at the top. I'm going to run two more passes, and then we should be flushed out. All right, guys, so we just got it flushed out. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our cap on. Uh, again, I'm gonna start with my left hand and then finish it with my right. Alright guys, so now that we got our capped out, uh, according to ASME section 9, you're allowed to flush to an eighth of an inch. Uh, so, with that being said, this one's going to pass. Uh, hope you have good luck on your next stainless takeout monster.